on, world? It's your boy Sean Benny 618, and I'm back with another shoe review. Today is probably gonna be one of my favorite shoe reviews that I've done thus far. Reason being, they finally brought back the Retro 17s. Y'all, I am alive to see the day that the Retro 17s has been re-released. And uh, this shit was a wild release. We're gonna get into all the details, we're gonna get into everything, we're gonna get into my situation on how I got my shoes. All that good stuff, but before we do that, you guys gotta subscribe to the channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. You know I don't do these often, so this has gotta be a great review because this shoe made me bring back the reviews. All right, so subscribe to the channel. Uh, more videos in the future. Uh, let's just get right into it. on how I was able to finally cop mine. All right, so the shoes released again uh, May 29th. I woke up that morning, jumped right on it. See, prior to that morning, I seen uh, a lot of different cities that was releasing them in the stores, and the stores was packed. Like, it ain't looked like that since, like, 2005. Like, when we was outside waiting on shoes and stuff like that. Like, you have to be alive for that type of stuff. You have to be outside for that type of stuff. Uh, so yeah, when I seen that, I knew the shoe was gonna be something crazy. I'm like, um, I know what Nike does. Nike likes to do tricky things like this. See, this shoe hasn't been released since 2002. Specifically, this shoe, the Lightning, All Star Lightning, came out February 2002, I believe. All Star Weekend. Um, mind you, they haven't really released any 17s much over time. Uh, these haven't been released in a while either. And uh, when these originally released, Jordans used to be like 150, 160 retail. When the 17s originally released with the suitcase, they came, they were the first Jordan brand shoe to be $200 at the time. This was 2000, 2000, 2000. This was like the first time Jordan brand ever made a shoe for $200. Quick story, story time. When I was in the um, eighth grade, right? Um, the original ones came out when Mike went to the Wizards and everything, the white and blue ones. Um, and I just remember I seen they was $200 and I knew my mom wasn't going to spend $200 on some fucking Jordans. I just kind of knew that. But I tried to swindle her into getting it, to, getting it done. So I took it to the store with me that morning and uh, when they rang the men's size up for me, it came up to $210. And I just remember her face. She was like, what the fuck? I am not spending $200 for some shoes. I was sitting there pissed off. So... I had to get a size seven, which was youth size at the time, and it was like a look. They were probably like 160, 170. I had to get the youth size in order for me to get the shoes. Walk out with the shoes that day, mind you. I just wanted to go to school the next day with those shoes, but I didn't get the suitcase, and that pissed me off as well because you needed that suitcase in order to complete the swag. But uh, she didn't get those for me. But later on, she got me the black ones, and she got me the white and red ones for my birthday. So I had both of those, and I had the Carolina ones, the long ones. Um, all came with suitcases. I used to actually put my school books in the suitcase. Crazy, right? Uh, but yeah, Jordan Brand likes to do stuff like this. So when I seen these coming out and I seen it was $300, yes, retail, $300, I knew they was up to something. They made a limited amount of them. And they wanted to see, they was trying to see how many people would actually bite for the $300 retro 17s. And we all did. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna keep releasing 17s in the future. They're gonna make them probably about three, four more. And they're gonna make them limited like that again. And then they're gonna charge $300. Then resellers are gonna charge five, six hundred dollars You get what I'm getting? Um, so yeah, well, let's stop talking. I've been ready to open this shoe since it came in yesterday. Mind you, I ordered the shoe May, May 29th on GOAT. Shout out to GOAT app, I love GOAT app. Uh, my mistake that day was I was actually ordering it from an outside seller outside of GOAT. So they had to send the shoe to GOAT first. So GOAT could do the verification process and uh, send the shoe to me. 
I should have just went ahead and spent that extra little money and just got the shoe right out because it took forever. Since May 29th to now, I finally got the shoe yesterday. Um, it kept canceling, saying that uh, they canceled the version. They canceled twice, basically, then they refunded me. The morning they refunded me, I hopped on, um, God damn, Flight Club. I hopped on Flight Club, and I just went ahead and bought them straight out. Shifty price. Charge me a lot. But I got them. I'm not mad. I'm not complaining. So let me light my weed up, and we're going to go ahead and open this box, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. And y'all are getting my real-life reaction. I haven't opened the box. Nothing. You're getting the real reaction to these shoes. Let's get it. Give me my sip. Here we go. I've been waiting on this. Shout out to Dipset too. I love you know I love you, Dipset. Tell them that. Tell my boy. Alright. Oh. oh shit. Alright. I feel like the only thing I did like about this box though, it didn't look like a pair of shoes was in it. So if it's sitting outside, nobody would have noticed it. But this is a big ass box. I've been ordering stuff, so I didn't think these was my shoes when they walked out of my door. Uh, Alright, y'all ready? Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we got a box inside the box. Set this right here. We got a box inside the box. Let's get it. Oh, this is a lot. This is a lot, y'all. I'm struggling. All right. We don't, we don't need that one. All right, this is the real deal right here. This is a big-ass box. Look how big this box is. This is a big-ass box, y'all. Oh man. Okay. But I gotta light up one more time. This is crazy. Look at this box. Size 10. You know what size I wear. We got the Air Jordan 17 Retro Lows SP White Lightning. Let's get it. I'm excited, y'all. I don't know how y'all feel. I literally, you can look on this channel. You can go to other shoe reviews. I've literally been advocating for us to get some 17s, 18s, shit, even 19s. I've been advocating that. I'm a strong fan of the 16, 17, 18s. Strong fan of them. That was like my high school video, so I was on. Listen, I'm ready to open. Y'all ready? Can't wait no longer. Trying to get high and smoke. Can't wait no longer. Let's do it. Shout out to GOAT once again, man. Even though I appreciate y'all for making sure I didn't get no fakes. I just wish y'all would have made this a little easier for me. But you made it happen. Shout out to the GOAT. No bad blood. I'm going to always order from y'all. Overstock it and shit like that. This is a moment for me. This is a real life moment for me, y'all. Y'all don't understand. This is a real life moment, man. I gotta break these out. All right. Wow. Yo, when these first came out, bro, I remember just staring at my suitcase for like hours, bro, breaking it down and just looking at it, bro. Like it was so amazing to get some shoes like this, bro. Like crazy. We gonna pop this later. We got them though, man. We got them. Let me just take a moment to. Let me take. Give me a moment. Just give me a moment, y'all. Y'all don't understand how thankful I am to be alive for this. Thankful to be alive. Make sure y'all go download my album, Thankful to be Alive as well. But I am thankful to be alive to see this, y'all. Wow. Very nostalgic vibe right now with this one, man. All right, let me hit this weed and we're going to open this box. This is crazy. It's here. It's here. It made it. I got it in, man. The box looks good. They feel a little bit more durable than the one I had in high school. Them, them social study books fuck my my red box all the way up. I thought I was too cool walking around school with the 
Jordan suitcase with the school blights and throw the throw the uh throw this the box on the table and pop it open like I was James Bond. But man, we got the shoe, man. Let's open them. But like I said, for some reason, this box looks a lot bigger than the box that I had in high school. Could it? Mm, yeah. This look a this look a lot taller for sure than the box that I had in high school. I think the one in high school I had was a little small. This the one. And I heard you can get these boxes off. Now, what they should have did, what they should have put my album right here. That would have been perfect, right? But no, what's crazy is when these first came out, they used to put big tickets. They used to have an album, right? I don't know if it was just strictly big ticket, but it, they used to have an album in each box. Jordan provided a mixtape, and it was songs from like big ticket and shit like that. That was lit. That was lit. They should have put Thankful to Be Alive in there. Oh! Y'all ready? I know y'all done seen these everywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to feast y'all eyes on the Jordan 17. Still, to this day, I'm not a hype beast. I'm not one of these new shoe generation people. I actually wore these back in two, early 2000s. I am still a fan of the 17s. I used to tell y'all back in them days. I don't know if y'all remember high school when I used to always tell y'all. I used to say these shoes was ugly and I spent too much money on them. And I kept telling y'all back then, these bitches is gonna be something. These shoes. Bro, I be knowing this shit. Like, I really be knowing this shit. Like, even with the retro tools, when I was in high school, people used to dog me out about retro ones. They used to dog me out about red retro ones. Look how look where retro ones are now. They used to be like, them ain't Air Force ones. Yeah, they George Retro ones. What the hell? But these right here, man. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I never had this colorway in particular. This is the first time having this colorway. I remember the coppers. I remember the light blue ones. I never had these. But yeah, got them now. This is nice, man. I ain't gonna lie, these is nice. When we was in high school, we didn't even peel this off. We left that, we left, we kept that on there. We was on. But uh, yeah, these is nice, man. Uh, overall, I think they delivered on the 17. I wish I had my old ones, man. That'd be crazy. I wish I had my old ones, man, to, to compare the material and stuff. A uh, little sock. This is like a little loose, but yeah, overall, man, the shoe is beautiful. I, I'm, I'm wearing these. I don't know how y'all feel about wearing them. If y'all gonna just tuck them, I got a lot of shoes tucked off, but these are some I'm actually gonna be having on my feet this summer. You might catch me at a beach club with them out here in Vegas. You just never know, man. All right, so the details of the shoe, real quick. Let's get to the bottom. The bottom. This is the bottom of the shoe. This is just how I remembered it. Side, got the back, inside, other side. Jordan logo. Inside. So anything else? Nothing else. Got these. Look. Think they dope. They look just how they used to look, man. These used to be. We couldn't wait to hoop and shit like this. Like. Now it is 2024. I don't know how these are gonna look with jeans. I wouldn't recommend it. For me personally, I'm just gonna have me some little knee high shorts on for my little graphic tee. And there you go, man. The Jordan 17 Lightning, they here, they made it. They got, I got them. Hope you got your pair, cause I got mine. And mind you, like I said, I was willing to spend what I spent on these shoes because I wanted them. Like, it wasn't nothing. I woke up on the internet and seen everybody talking about it and I just was like, oh, I gotta get my hands on them. No. I really wanted these shoes. I really want the 17s. Could y'all please bring me the white and red ones? Uh, the all black ones? And the original white and blue ones? Bring them three back. My life is complete. Then rotate back around to those 16s and those 17s. I mean, 16s and those 18s. And we good, Jordan Brand. Y'all got to stop this bringing out a shoe and then watering it down like dropping too many of them. Y'all got too many retro ones out there for one. The retro ones should be over with. What y'all need to do is drop the band version and the black and blue ones. Not know you reimagine suede, none of that. Bring those two colorways back and retire the retro ones for the next 20 years. Retire them. 
uh, Miss Too Many Retro Ones floating around. Y'all need to bring back more shoes over 15. Just my opinion. Let's get those 15, 16, 17, 18, 19s rolling back around. People might, you might be able to make more money. You might be able to make more money. Because you can charge 300. You see what it just did? When you charge 300, people still bought them. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not recommending that y'all charge 300 for the next, but I say 250. 250 for any 17, 250 for any 18, stuff like that. Just raise it 250. I, I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. But let's bring back the numbers from 15 to, tw uh, to 19. Even 20. Low key 20. But 15 to 19 for sure. Those should be some shoes that y'all should be projecting. But uh, what other releases we got? We got uh, we got the um, the white and green retro fours dropping. We got the dental ones dropping, and we also have uh the white and pink eleven lows dropping. Which those are just three I seen, and the retro fours that's all green. The retro threes that's all green. I can't remember the name, but those are dropping as well. Uh, what I have my eyes set on for the future right now. I did kind of want the white and green fours. I'm not sure if I really want them now. I got a few fours that I bought this year. I'm really not a fan of fours, so I don't want to start loading up with retro fours. Um, the dental ones, nah, them ain't it. And uh, the green, them green threes I seen, them is pretty cool. I got remember, I don't remember the name. I'm gonna put it up here, but I don't remember the name. But those was pretty smooth. I just didn't like the canvas still on the, on the sides. I didn't like that. So that's just a sign. I know I might not get those either because what's going to happen if they don't get seen? Right there on that wall with the wall. So I'm cool right now. I didn't really see any Jordans that I really wanted. A part of me kind of wants the white and pink lows. I don't know. It's something about white and pink shoes I really fuck with. Uh, so I might grab those on the 20th. I think that's the 20th, 21st. I might get those for sure. Uh, but yeah, back to these, man. Beautiful shoe. Can't wait to put my foot in it. It didn't come with anything at all. It didn't come with nothing special. For how much I paid for it, it should have came with like a free rent voucher or something. Because I paid a lot. But it didn't come with nothing. I got to Put this uh, suitcase. All right? So, hopefully you got your hands on it, yours. If you didn't, you still able to get these shoes right now on GOAT. You can go ahead and cop them now. Don't have to spend that money, but you can cop them. Uh, but yeah, we here, they're here. The Seventeens. I hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoy your shoe. If you did get them, and if you didn't, don't worry. It's gonna be more coming out in the future. You'll get more pair. These ain't even like I ain't gonna say these ain't the real Seventeens, but these was like a different edition of the Seventeens, like a spinoff of the Seventeens. They still Seventeens though, but the original Seventeens I wanted the white and blue, the all black and the white and red. Them the ones that I really want. Them the ones that I would have spent as much as I spent on these. I would have spent on those. But I'm had. I, I had to get these. You know what I'm saying. So when I'm ready and they ready to drop, I'm ready for them. The Carolina ones. Woo! I'm ready for them. I know they coming. So y'all get y'all money right. Y'all be on the lookout because these Jordans they getting a little bit more expensive. They pricing them up a little bit, but they worth it. Anything over 15, they worth it. I've been telling y'all that since I was a little kid. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Worth it. Some of the top Jordans, y'all just failed to realize that. They failed to realize that back in the days, but for some reason, this new generation, they kind of peeped at these. The, the, the numbers over 15 is kind of hard. For a long time, y'all was gatekeeping that. Y'all was saying, oh, I ain't rocking no Jordans over under 14. All right, over 14. All right, be, do that. Now it's hard to get them. Y'all crazy, man. Stop being a follower and just be yourself. Get what you want, buy what you want. I knew back then in high school that these shoes was one on one. But man, glad y'all came here with me. I'm glad these came out because it got me to get back in front of the camera and do a vlog for you guys because I haven't been doing any reviews or anything like that. But glad these came out to, and I'm glad I was able to give you guys this review before I went on vacation. I'm going to go to Wisconsin Dells and have a good time, man. Make sure y'all tap in and y'all subscribe to the channel so y'all can see how my vacation went. I might put these on while I'm out there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm leaving these on. My luggage will just so get lost when these is in there. <laughs> All right, man, but make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. And make sure you tap that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos in the near future, man. This was a review on the Retro 17 Lightnings. Yeah. My man's Jordan had these on during All-Star Weekend when he came back on the Wizards. Huh, cooking shit. But, man, I'm out, man. Y'all be smooth.